right, everyone, we will uh, take questions for these four guys. Please raise your hand, and obviously, it's buddy, whoever you want to ask, let know. Uh, we'll start with Ben, then we'll go to Adam. Jalen, early in the season, I asked you, you know, about kind of your first two or three games, and you said you hadn't done anything yet. Do you feel like you've done something uh, after tonight? Um, <clears throat> I mean, you know, uh, I, I don't know, to be honest. Um, like I said, we I'm just happy Vol Nation came out um, just to see the support. Uh, you know, I'm happy for everybody here and you know, I'm proud of the coaches, the players, um, you know, hook you know, reading reading into the, the right spots. Um it's a lot that goes into it. You know, it's just not just me. Um, but you know, I'm just blessed to be here. And just from your perspective, why were you able to have so much success tonight and then end it? Why was that connection so great tonight as well? Um, you know, it's just it's a lot of things. Uh, the looks that they were giving us, um, you know, me and Hood, we were on the right page, you know, as far as what we we're looking at. Um, and not only that, just him trusting in me. Um, like I said, I'm just blessed. You know, this is this is what we needed. You know, it's been a while since we beat Bama. Um, so, you know, I'm glad we got the win. We're going to have a lot of questions. I'm to try to keep it to one question per person. Adam, you're next, and then we'll go to Austin and then Pat. Chase, how did it feel when you missed the extra point and then when you made it? When you made the field goal? Yeah, obviously you don't want that to happen. That's something that really hasn't ever happened to me, you know. Um, but, you know, just wipe it onto the next kick. I knew uh, there's going to be another opportunity later on in the game. So just really tried to move on from that and uh, focus up for the next opportunity. Pat and then Austin. Chase, Coach Apple talked about, and he tried to come over and talk to you, and you kind of like, no, I'm good. By the way, you're, you're the only one that's not that's still in Jersey. Yeah, there's, um, there's a lot of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> um, for, for all you guys, we'll, scenes in the locker room, scenes on the field. Um, can you describe it? Yeah, it's really, it's amazing, especially with this fan base, you know, for, you know, all those years and for us to be able to come out with a win tonight and see everybody's reaction, you know, it's a real blessing and uh, it's, an, it's an awesome night. You know, that's just how we prepared. Uh, we didn't prepare thinking we were going to lose, you know, at all. Uh, we came in here confident. We came in here like it was another game, like we always do. Um, you know, the players here, they know what to expect. I mean, when you come to the SEC, especially Tennessee, you know the guys you have to beat, you know, when you sign that letter of intent. So, um, and we did that tonight. So, I'm blessed. And, and then, what is this, what, how special is this win for this team, this season, and for this program, this big picture? Yeah, you know, we, we approach every game the same. Uh, just another day at the office, and, and that's, what, that's how we approach it today. Um, you know, determined just to go out there and, and execute plays and, and play 100% for our brothers to our left and our right. Mm -hmm. And that's what we did tonight. Joe. Uh, yeah, Chase, on the, the winning kick, did, did that, how did that feel coming up your foot? Yeah, honestly, it wasn't my cleanest hit. But, uh, you know, had full confidence in Maddie, my snapper, packs him a holder, and that the line was going to protect me. So... You know, really it's just going out there and just focusing on doing your job. And, you know, we were able to get it through, and uh, that was good. So, Brent and Dennis. Yeah, you guys, Coach just talked about your resiliency and you, didn't, you don't flinch when something bad happens. He's obviously very aggressive in how he coaches the game. He doesn't flinch. When did you get that vibe from him, and how important has that been for your guys' growth <clears throat> that he relishes big games like this and doesn't flinch? Yeah, that's something that's, that's preached upon uh, day in and day out. You know, wipe the play, uh, move on to the next play, take one play at a time. Um, so we hear that, you know, 100 times throughout practice. And that's what we strive to do. You know, we just want to make sure that we're doing our job to the best of, the, of our abilities. And, and Chase, two questions real quick. But did you get a sense it was tipped? Because it looked like it was tipped or kicked. And, and what, are, what other options did you have after the uh, USA? Why did you come here? Oh, um, I don't know if it was tipped. It, it may have been, judging off that ball flight. But, um, yeah, and um, really, um, Tennessee, I wanted to come here because uh, just, you know, the tradition here, how amazing the fan base here, especially what the coaching staff brought in. You know, also I had my friend Valus Jones, who was already up here, who I lived with for two years at USC, and we were really close. So that was really a, a big reason why I came, and it was a seamless transition. Right over here. Chase, uh, to your right. The last time you hit a game-winning field goal. The last time I hit a game-winning field goal was my freshman year of college. So back at USC, it was against Texas. We'll go back to Pat and then we'll go to Austin. Taylor, you kind of touched on this a little bit. Did you think coming into this game that you were going to be able to uh, treat it, or maybe you did predict you had five touchdowns in this game? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, did, you think, did you think you were going to have some matchups and some safety and things that you could, could take advantage of? 
you know, I, I <clears throat> to be honest, I didn't know I was gonna have five touchdowns. You know, that's that's a, that's a lot. Um, but it was just the looks, um, you know, what they were showing us, uh, you know, what we came to the sideline and, you know, what we thought, you know, what would work against their defense. Uh, you know, they're. It's a lot that goes to it, you know, just as far as how we game plan, how we prepared. Um, you know, we knew we could uh, execute on big plays. We knew that, was, you know, coming in the game, we have to if we wanted to win this game. And like I said, I'm just proud of everybody in the locker room, man. And uh, we're on to the next. You look at that last nine seconds, and you, you started Virginia Tech, and Bruce started USC, and you started USC. Is that kind of a perfect synopsis of modern day football? I mean, with, with the transfer portal, you guys just step right into a rivalry like this and, and make those huge plays? Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I guess so. We came here to, to do a job, and, um, you know, we, we work our tails off every day to do that to the best of our abilities. So, um, you know, we, we expect to win, and, and when we come out on the field, you know, we're going to give 100%. Cool, Weston, right here. Trayvon, I guess, you know, with, with no, no Jalen tonight, no Haddon tonight, and then a couple guys get hurt during the game. Guys are moving around. William Wright's out there on the last drive. What was it like trying to keep everything kind of pieced together and who was where in the secondary? Um, that's just kind of something we, we uh, prided ourselves on since the offseason. Um, next man up mentality. Uh, no matter what, we all practice hard. We train hard. We love each other. So uh, no matter who's out there, man, we, we got to go out there and execute. Also for Trayvon, uh, can you run us through that last defensive drive? It seemed like you guys were able to get some good pressure on Bryce and force some bad passes on his part. Was there anything you guys were doing different on that final drive to try to get him off the field? Uh, nah, man. Just we we just taught to play all four quarters to the, the clock hit zero. Uh, we got some good calls in from. Our coach, we executed. Uh, we we not gonna stop playing until the game over. So maybe it looked like the, the guys kind of came off harder or wh whatever the case may be. But nah, man, it's it just that's just something we pride ourselves in. No matter if it's first quarter or the last play of the game, we gotta come off hard, ready to go. We'll go Joe, back to Adam, and in the back. Yeah, Trayvon again. What about for you? The, the last scene, the, the, those moments right after the win. What does this mean to you? Man, it's indescribable. Um, just the stuff that that I've been through, these guys been through. Um, it's just something that's been built from from off season. It's just something that we, we worked so hard for. Um, it's definitely history. Uh, we'll never forget this moment. Um, I'm glad it was with these guys, every guy in the locker room, every coach, every member, staff. It doesn't matter. It's just, just something that it's, it's, it's undescribable, bro. It's, it's an amazing feeling. Jalen, you caught a couple balls where you're catching it and you're running toward the crowd. They're up and that roar of the sound. Can you explain what that experience is like? What, is, what does that sound like on the field? Yeah, you know, when you're on the field, you don't even you don't even hear it. You know, uh, I black out when I'm on the field, so you know, the only thing I'm worried about is the ball. You know, where the ball at? Um, you know, that's that's what I you know when I hear the crowd is you know when I score or when they score you know it's. That's when I hear the crowd, you know, or, or I'm on the sideline. But when I'm in the moment, you know, I black out. You know, I don't even listen to the crowd. You know, looking at the signals, looking at what they're in coverage-wise. Uh, you know, and just try to execute. Go in the back and then go down. And then this was a long time coming for a lot of people in that stadium tonight. But for this team in this particular season, what does that win mean for you? Mm -hmm. You know, like I said before, this is another day at the office. Um, we have we got some things to clean up. Um, on, on Monday, and um, you know we're gonna come back and, and prepare for UT Martin. Um, this is this is a business. Anybody can win on any day, so you got to come to play every day. I, I wonder if, if it was the last time all four of you guys smoked a cigar, and did you all smoke a cigar tonight? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't smoke a cigar, but you know, <laughs> taking pictures with, with my teammates. You didn't smoke? No, sir. Why not? I just don't smoke cigars. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I mean, I, I definitely smoked a cigar. <laughs> <laughs> it's a tradition, man. It's just, it's, like I told you just now, it's indescribable. It's a feeling that I probably will never get back um, as far as playing Bama and in a regular season game. Uh, it's, my, it's my last year, so it's just it's crazy, man. It's an amazing feeling. Jalen Chase, you guys can do real quick, too. 
You know, mine, I have a different answer. Um, you know, last year, I remember when we played Bama, uh, it was fourth quarter, you know, three or four minutes left, you know, and you can already smell the smoke. They lit it before we even end the game. And, um, you know, when you feel a feeling like that, you know, you you want to bounce back from that. Um, and they came to our place, uh, sold out. Um, I knew Vol Nation would show out. And just to, just to see what these guys have done, you know, um, just how we executed, you know, how we played four quarters. It just shows how much heart we have on this team. Um, and, you know, we all believe in our coaches. I think that's another thing. And like I said, I'm proud of this group, man. I'm proud of these guys. Um, and we just got to take it next step and just keep going. Chase, you can do that one, and then we'll go to Ben for the next question. Yeah, I absolutely smoked a cigar. Um, <laughs> you know, really, like for guys like my holder, Paxton, who's been in this program since I think 2018, and, you know, for the fan base, and. You know, I had to smoke a cigar really with them because it's just, it was such awesome memory. And, uh, you know, to get that win for the fan base, for those guys, for the team, it was a blessing. Yes. Hendon and Austin. Hendon, there's been a lot of popular talk. What do we go should be this week? Why has this group been able to keep the main, <coughs> the main thing and mm -hmm. not get caught up on everything going on outside the facility? Yeah, we, we've had a main goal, um, you know, since January. And, and we've been working and pursuing that goal uh, this whole time. So, you know, until that goal is obtained, um, you know, it's no rest. And then after the goal, we still have more work to do. So, um, you know, just like I said before, it's, it's becoming repetitive, but it's not, though, because like, this is really what we do on a day in and day out um, daily basis. So uh, back to work on Monday. And then the offensive line, the last two weeks, run the ball, protecting you. I think, I think Alabama had two tackles for loss tonight, only one sack. Um, everybody talked about their, you know, Anderson and, and Dallas and all those mm -hmm. guys coming in. Can you speak to the job those guys have done the last couple of weeks? Yeah. Really mm -hmm. You know, I call them uh, my security guards. Uh, we got front door and we got back door security guards, and, and they make sure that the perimeter is secure. Um, <laughs> you know, they, they, push, they, push through, they push through a lot. Um, you know, push through me getting on them, um, them being hard on themselves, you know, they come to work um, every day, no matter how they feel. Um, and I can't thank them enough. Who's the front door? Front door, Coop. <laughs> Coop, Rome, and Sprague's back door, uh, Crawford, and Missy, and uh, Darnell. Uh, Chase, you said you felt like you didn't hit it cleanly on, on the kick. Did you think it was good off your foot, or was there a moment of kind of just waiting and hoping? Yeah, I knew I hit it straight. I didn't think I had the the best contact on the ball, but um, really just focused on trusting my technique. You know, the snap hole is perfect. They got it down, and uh, yeah, just focused on getting it through. We'll do two more. We'll go to Reese, and we'll finish with uh, Blake. Jalen, after your fourth touchdown, I ran to your dad, and I asked him if he'd ever seen anything like this. He said, no, he obviously scored a fifth. Run. Where does this rank amongst your games, and what your dad says he's never seen anything like this? He's coached a lot of football. What does that mean to you? Yeah, you know, this is, <clears throat> Personally, probably my best game, um, just as far as uh, just everything. But, you know, it, it's just, you know, how I look at it, it's just a little different. Um, it just goes with the O-line, you know, the quarterback, uh, the play call, the play calling. It's a lot of things that go into it, you know. And uh, like I said, I'm just blessed to be up here. You know, I'm blessed that uh, we have a quarterback in Hook, a leader in Hook, um, and a coach in Hype. Um, just. You can just see it, you know, I, I know y'all see it. It's a different team, um, different team from three years ago, two years ago, one year. It's just, it's just a different team. And um, I think we're finally on the right path as far as what our goal is, and we have to execute that. So we're back on work on Monday. Blake, last question. Hannon, yeah, if I heard you right, you mentioned you guys have been working uh, toward a goal since January. Mm -hmm. what, what is that main goal you've been working towards? Yeah, going to Atlanta. Right. Thanks, everybody. Appreciate your time. Thanks for waiting for